Hey guys, Nano Nexus here. This is the second episode of Khajiit Nightblade gameplay, sort of level 10 to 20 thing that I'm doing, alongside the uh, Dhamma Sorcerer and Orc Dragon Knight. So, oh, what are these guys doing? This one's furry tail caught dinner, or have you forgotten? It is you who wanted to cook the meat. Hmm. So, basically, uh, American Aleph, yeah, we're off to find them. They're apparently fighting Daedra. Uh, for the Fighters Guild, they are the top lieutenants in the Fighters Guild, a Red Guard and a Khajiit. And um, they should be around this corner. Here we go. Welcome to the fight, comrade. Claws out and watch yourself. Fools, you cannot stand against the might of Moloch. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so the Fighters Guild quests look like they're going to be fun. So your reputation with the uh, Fighters Guild uh, increases by destroying Dark Anchors and killing Daedra. So it also offers you um, a set of sort of achievements and special cosmetic gear and stuff like that. Uh, the Fighters Guild skill line is effective against Daedra. What was that voice? Oh. It's effective against Daedra and uh, the undead, as well as werewolves and vampire players as well. So it is quite handy. Merrick ran off after some other Daedra. Get after him. Don't let her take him. Okay. So, um, yeah, the Fighters Guild were contracted to focus their forces entirely against the forces of Molag Bal I think that's and the, the Dark Anchors. So. Oh. Oh dear. Merrick's gone. Has planned for your pure soul, Merrick. You should feel honored. Merrick? Comrade, what happened? Where did you go? <laughs> Dosha, that such a weakling could take one such as Merrick. How would Alev know? She was behind you. Oh, yes. Colors, the heroic guildmaster. <laughs> We don't need to wait for colors. You and Aleph are more than smart enough to figure this out. Here, give those items you found on the cultists. You didn't recognize her tremor from her projection? I think her name is Dosha. Quite full of herself, actually. Hmm. This note mentions an island tower. Aleph wonders if it speaks a Buranim. It's an old alien ruin. A tower on an island off the coast of Skywatch. Go seek Merrick there. Aleph will find our heroic guildmaster and get additional blades. May good fortune stalk your steps, comrade. Which do you mean? The gear or the relic? Ancient, Dwimmer. Worn in places, this piece was used in one of their constructs. Smells fresh in some ways. Has been away from any ruins for a while. Shame. Might have been able to learn something more. Crude construction, shaped by small fingers. Female Breton, perhaps Wood Elf, colored from clay, this region, so more likely Wood Elf. Smells burnt of cinders, shaped near a wood fire stove or kiln. Aleph makes her way as she can, helps the guild as she can. Just a humble Khajiit, originally from the city of Doom. This one is of little importance. Okay, so... 
We're just across from... Is that Matheson over there? I think it is. Pick up this. You can pause and read this if you'd like. Um, so, am I going to have to walk all the way around? Hmm. I'll see. I might just... I might turn around and swim. If this takes too long. Yep, I swam. <laughs> it took much less time. Comrade! I am Jofnir Iceblade, former master of the Fighters Guild. Don't interrupt, I cannot speak long. Dosha has taken Merrick beneath the island into the vault. She drains his soul for her master's dark plans. I can't... I can't say. My time grows short. Save Merrick. Stop the Daedra. We're the followers of Molag Bal. Okay, so that was Jofnir Iceblade. Oh, I don't know. That was a player, wasn't it? Um, Jofnir Iceblade. So he's a Nord, by the sounds of things. But yeah, he is a Nord. Um, he was the original leader of the Fighters Guild. I think the actual original leader. Um, during the events of Elder Scrolls Online. He died though, and uh, so sees all colours. The Argonian gained leadership and was then contracted to focus on Molag Bal's forces, which was a uh, bit of a controversial decision among the guild, but she uh, made that decision. I think it was a good one. Makes for a good quest line. But anyway, so we're here inside the... Oh, we've got scamps. Little mini Daedra. A pure soul, Dosha. Don't fail me. That sounds a bit creepy. Okay. So, these little ones are a bit annoying. I, I think I should be able to take out a group of them quite simply. The Nightblade is quite powerful. So, I know they're only level 8, but still. In groups they can be a bit troublesome. They launch fireballs and can rain fire from the sky as well. So it's pretty much you got to get your dodge on. Here we go. Okay, so there's one rule with this one. So she takes this form. And she is supposed to send out three magical ball type things. Not those ones spinning around, I don't think. Um, and the healer, basically. Oh, these, these, okay. So you got to attack. You're supposed to attack them so that she can't heal. I killed her quicker, anyway. You have failed me, Dosha. Stendar, my head! She almost had me. Thank you, comrade. Just need a moment to recover. If you hadn't come along, I'll be fine, Stendar willing. I heard her communing with the Lord of Lies. Molog Ball is harvesting souls for some dark plot. He's especially interested in the souls of the faithful. Comrade, grab that book and her notes on the table. I saw her scribbling after speaking to her master. We may be able to learn more about this plot, learn what this Mortum Vivicus is. Grab them, then let's get out of here. Yeah, as I was saying, if you're having trouble with this, that one, even, Dosia, basically it's those sort of magical water-looking type balls that um, fly towards her. Basically they're going to heal her if they reach her. So you've got to attack at least one, I think. Smash at least one of them and she doesn't heal. So, yeah. But, because the Nightblade is ridiculously powerful, you just take her out before the first one even gets there, so... That's good. But anyway, so we're going to head out of this alien ruin now. Are they going to be all outside? I think they are. Otherwise I have to travel a very long way to find 
Oh. Are we not going to get attacked here? Exactly. Hint to close by. So this is Guildmaster Sees All Colours. You are the sun on my scales, comrade. You've returned Merrick to us. Molag Bal. May he burn in the glare of a thousand suns. It's just like him to send an assassin to kill a noble warrior. That's a coward's weapon. Sooth, the Mortum. What? And I can't make tails or scales of these scribblings. No matter. It's going to take time to decipher this scrawl. But we'll put our best scribe on it. You've done a great service for the guild today, comrade. I look forward to drawing steel with you in the future. If we learn anything from the journal, I'll make sure you hear about it. I'll look for you down the river, comrade. You'll hear from us once we've decoded the journal. Something tells me we'll see each other again. I look forward to fighting by your side once more. Yes, yes. You sound like my mother, beloved though she is. I shall recover. Rejoice, for someday soon you and I shall again take up arms together. Cool. Okay, so that is the Fighters Guild sort of quest line done for now. I think they uh, they sort of notify you when they're ready for you to come back. Um, it might be when you get to certain towns, or I think it's probably to do with what level you are. But anyway, so we're heading off to, well, no, I'm going to go to Skywatch. I'll swim over. It's quicker. Okay, so I am uh, pretty much going to end this one here. It was a pretty short one. Um, not too eventful. Mainly because I'm going to have to um, basically single out the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild quests, no matter how long they are, because then you can sort of pick and choose which character you want to watch do those quests. So then you don't have to just watch the same quests again and again, because... I'm going to be doing this one. I think I'm going to be doing this one. Or some of them I already did it before I was level 10. But at least the, the second um, quest I'm going to be doing on all of my characters. So I'll just single them out. Make sure you don't have to watch them twice. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Which will hopefully be a little bit more exciting. So I'll see you in the next one.